Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly. It's just the word. Allegedly. It's on the street. Allegedly. I sing to the beat. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. I just saw a TikTok with Dr. Cone Tessa and her loud jacket wearing husband. They asked her, what can you tell us about this season of Marriage to Medicine? And she said, well, we ain't on it. I want to thank God and Jesus for that. Now, Holy Ghost, I'm going to thank you once the season's over. And it was good. You can't thank the Holy Ghost too early. Is Sophie Turner the new Portia Williams? Hear me out. So Sophie married Joe Jonas. There had always been rumors about Joe Jonas like there were rumors about Cordell. Sophie married young, Portia married young. Sophie, an actress, Portia, a video hoe. Now, Portia had two kids with Joe. Now, Sophie had two kids with Joe. Portia didn't have any kids with Cordell. I guess that's because you can't get pregnant in the anus. And now they both have been, quote unquote, blindsided by their divorce and found out in the press. However, this is turning into a real life, not without my daughter. Because she wants to take the babies back to England. And Joe's like, they should stay in America. I think Sophie will win this battle because she's the more current movie star and he's an aging boy bander. And Kevin's the only one that had a little bit of a solo career. I don't think anybody's running to see Camp Rock Part 3. You know it's coming. Camp Rock. The little honky, the little honky haze gonna get together again. Can't rock. But I want to know: Is Sophie the new Portia, and will she have a Portia glow up? Although, you are a movie star, so you've kind of glown up. I mean, you'll forever be Sansa. You was okay as the Phoenix, so yeah, you just need one more good franchise, and you all right, Heffel. But if Joe's short ass gives you some problems, here's what you do. This is what I do with Pete. I mean, Bronx. You put him in air jail. See, when they act a fool, just hold him out just like this. Just like this. I can do it one-handed because I got big hands. Just like this. Put him in air jail. Calms him right down. See, are you going to act a fool? See, they stop acting a fool just... Put that runt in air jail. Girl, every celebrity is breaking up before cuffing season. They want to be ready for somebody new to cuddle up with. I'm sorry, it's September. Ain't it getting chilly on the East Coast? It's actually like been summery here. It's like in the 60s and nice. But in the evening, it gets a little cool. Don't y'all want somebody to cuddle up with? This is hobosexual beware weather. And y'all just empty in your bed. Nicole <laughs> lets everybody know she moved to London. Honey, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. That's why you had to put out a press release. We barely cared about you in the Pussycat Dolls. No, you can sing, but you are the embodiment of Ho. Why is you here? Ain't nobody ever been happy to see you walk in a room. That's sad, but true. You are a racially ambiguous Carrie Hilson. Except you didn't even say nothing about Beyonce, and the beehive still got your ass out of here. Well, actually, never let your ass in. Oh, my God. College student was kicked out of school. She stabbed her mother to death so she wouldn't find out. Let you know, yeah, let your mama know, hey, mom, I got kicked out of school. Or let your mom know, I'm going to stab you to death. I, you're not afraid for her to know you're going to stab her to death? How awful did she feel then? You wanted to spare her feelings, so you stabbed her to death. Oh, my God. Lord, you had the stupidest child. Damn. Death by offspring. Oh, Lord. I, honestly, I want to blame her. What did you have? Because you should have noticed some signs and symptoms in that one. 
That rationalization wasn't there. I got kicked out of school. I don't want to tell you this. So rather than stay away, get a job, you know, go to a different school, I'm going to stab you to death. I'm going to stab you, period. Because then guess what? They're going to know you stabbed them. They're right there at the end of the knife. I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I feel sorry for that woman. And you know what? I bet you around the eighth or the ninth stab, she thought, this heifer ain't in school. You told on yourself. In more pink toe news, Fecal Bedore is saying that her airbag didn't deploy. Fecal Bedore is saying that her airbag didn't deploy and it's resulted in a facial injury. I want you to look at this face. Can't shit injure that. And you was only going 20 miles an hour, so you ain't hit it that hard, heifer. If you got a bruise, you earned it. You were driving drunk. You could have killed somebody. You should have ran over that girl that was stabbing her mom. That could have been at least useful if she had been able to get out on the road. In debt news. We just gonna let them finish. You done? Okay. Anthony Anderson to pay ex-wife Alvina four million dollars lump sum in settlement in their divorce settlement as well as 20,000 a month if he makes over two million her support payments increase so even if you get bigger so does my bank account child they even selling they cemetery plots and splitting the proceeds anthony keeps the compound in encino while she gets a house in houston the kids get a car each under the parents' agreement. Dang. The kids even make it out. I just want to show. Well, child, that was 20 years. Four million for 20 years. Oh, you had to deal with Anthony Anderson for 20 years? Before Blackish and the good checks? Yeah. You deserve. You deserve the coin. And finally, Core Beer... And finally, in down and out news, Croy Bierman has been offered 150000 to strip at the Kings of Hustler Mail Review out in Vegas. I mean, I'm sure somebody wants to see his pink toe wiggling. And everybody said he had a great ass, so you may as well use it. Kim strip, so you can too. It's funny, that's how you met her, and now that's how you're leaving her. She got you literally on the pole. Showing your pole for a penny. And oh God, heifa hang it up news. Jada Pinkett Smith just posted a video of her and Tupac dancing and karaoke to a Will Smith song on Instagram to promote her autobiography. You've already told us all of your business. We know when you started flicking your bean. You've told us about your shits, raising your chillin. We know about your mama. We know about your entanglement with August. Until you tell us how the threesomes or the twosomes are with Dwayne Martin and Will Smith, that's what we want to know. We want to know how that bussy busts. We don't care. You have told us everything we know about your LOPP between you and Mimi. Quite frankly, we're tired. We have had enough out of you and Jada's business. There comes a point when you done told so much business it ain't interesting no more. And heifer we here. Heifer we here. Well, those were today's top stories from this bottom, so I'ma see you soon for something. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly.